Hello, listeners. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to tune in with us. We're so glad you're here. I'm Trey. And I'm Sierra. And in our podcast, we're going to be talking about how to turn your boring vanilla writing into some real spicy analysis. Wow. I can't wait to get started. What a good segue, Trey. Where should we start? I'm so glad you asked. Many students that I've worked with have struggled to add any real substance to their analytical papers. More often than not, the student accidentally summarizes the content they're supposed to be analyzing. So the first question you have to ask yourself is... When transitioning from your source material to the words on the page, how do you escape the classic summary and find deeper meaning within your content? Exactly. You took the words right out of my mouth. A good place to start is with analyzing your thesis, because every good paper hopefully has a thesis. And you need to ask yourself, why have I chosen this passage to analyze and not just summarize? What value and evidence does it add to my argument, or my thesis? Exactly. And this is a process that is repeated throughout your entire paper. To some degree, your writing will need to be explanatory. However, continuously continuously reflecting on the meaning of your source material and what you want to convey to your audience will allow for a deeper level of analysis. That's right. So as a writer who wants to communicate the value of the content I am writing about, how do I make this whole analyzing thing easy for myself? Great question, Trey. I think the two biggest questions a writer can ask themselves are, What does the underlying message of my content say, and what do I want to convey? Wow. Not only is that a great nugget of knowledge, but it also rhymes, which makes it a perfect tidbit to take away. Look at us. We are basically Dr. Seuss of the Writing Center. (laughs) Hopefully this tidbit helps you as you embark on your next writing endeavor. Okay, but, but wait. Before we move on, let me make sure I have the right idea. Let's say I'm writing a paper about, hmm, Romeo and Juliet. Are you saying that instead of just writing about how Juliet killed herself, I should explain the underlying significance and emotions she must have been feeling? Yes, you're on the right track, if a slightly morbid track. If your thesis is all about the roller coaster of love or her personal struggles throughout the play, that's exactly how you add important analysis. The word why will become your best friend. I've always wanted a best friend. (laughs) All right, well, that is our semi-expert advice for turning summary into analysis. Hopefully, we've opened your eyes to the beauty that insightful analysis can bring to a paper. We're also hoping that it will bring you many A-pluses in the future. Good luck and merry analyzing.